Alright, Shalom Alaikum. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. I'd like to give them honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson when reality sets in. You know, and that's going to happen pretty much when all hell break loose. See, these people are going to find out. You know, that it has all been a, 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 pretty much they have been asleep, man. You know, by the way, this bread and circus, you know, you still able to watch sports and you can go get you a few drinks here and now, as long as you wear the mask, you know. But it's going to come a time where the people going to realize that this place is going to come to an end and what the end is going to be. You know, so matter of fact, I'm going to start off with, uh, because all hell about to break loose pretty soon, you know, and that, that pride going to be taken away, you know, we already see the mirth and everything is being transferred into to mourning and sorrow, you know, with just in the beginning stages of this, man, it's going to get much and much worse, you know, as each day go by, you know, so this is, um, uh, Bear with me. Let's see if I can get this real quick. This is Ecclesiastes Sirach 11. And uh, I started at 24. It said, again, say not, I have enough. And possess many things. And what evil shall I have hereafter? See? And guess what? It was these people pretty much. They, uh, you know, just these simple Americans or anybody that's come under the so-called white man and his banner. You know, they feel like they got everything figured out, man. That somehow, some way, they're going to always bounce back. You know? Somehow, some way, they're going to triumph. That there no that no evil is going to come their way. You know, they're going to take the crown Vic on the chin. You know, and come out stronger. No, man. This is the time where the Lord's about to throw all this shit down, man. You know? It said, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction. See? It said, in, in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. See? And that's the time we in. We're in the time of affliction, man. You know? Like I said, you, these people are able to watch sports still and kind of unwind to a certain extent. But it's going to be a point in time where all these things are going to be cut off, man. You know? That comfortability... Is being taken away. You know. They like said that joy and then and then mirth is being turned into sorrows and mourning, man. Because we in that time of affliction. And they said there's not there's not gonna be no members of prosperity. Because the only thing that's gonna be on your mind in that day is what you're gonna eat. Because it's gonna be a famine of biblical proportions, man, to hit this place. Especially here in America, which this is the old, most obese country in the world. So, how fit would it be that a famine would come here, man? The Lord actually set this place up for the famine, man. That great famine that's looming. You know? And said, for this is the easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. See? And everybody's going to get uh, rewarded according to their works. Because we on the planet Earth now, you know, either to be delivered or to be destroyed, man. You know, and that destruction comes in many ways and fashions. When the scriptures talk about the famine, somebody got to die of that famine. The scriptures say something about the sword. Somebody got to die of the sword. Somebody got to die of the teeth of wild beasts. You know, the pestilence. In, in many other ways, the Lord's going to put these people to death, man. You know? It says the hour, it's like it said the efficient of an hour make of a man forget his pleasure and in his end his deeds shall be discovered, see? And that hour of affliction which is the hour of temptation. You know, when that chip get mandated. And that's when your deeds going to be discovered whether pretty much did you ever you really uh you still wanted to be here in America. When you look, when, when that time, when it's time for you to be looking for relief, 
Because you're going to trust in your by some you know Are you going to trust in America? And a lot of these people are going to trust in America. They're going to, their deeds going to be discovered when they get that chill. You know? But the point is, is that reality is about to set in, man. You know? All hell is about to break loose. It's not like this is going to be a stalemate. You know, when somehow, some way, everything just get back to normal. No. It's actually going to get worse. You know? Things are going to get worse, man. Matter of fact. Because this is what the Lord, you know, when when the disciples ask, you know, what's going to be the sign of that coming? What should we look for, you know, to pretty much, uh, you know, matter of fact, let's see if we can get this real quick. Matter of fact, let me jump up. This is St. Luke 21. And uh, Selma, it says, <clears throat> so like it said, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what will be the sign? What sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? See? So, pretty much, the things to look for, you know. For the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. So let me jump down to uh, verse 25. It said, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. See? So you got signs in the heavens. You got solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, the different phases of the moons, the, the blood moon, the blue moon, the super wolf moon, the pink moon. You know, these different constellations lining up. Uh, uh, what it was, I think it was Jupiter and Saturn that lined up, you know. So, those things are going to be happening at the same time. That's why I said those signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. It said, and upon the earth, the stress of nature. See, all these are going to be happening at one time, man. And you see that now, you know. So, it said, upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity. See, which meaning what? You're going to be bewildered for the events that's about to play out, man. You know, your mind ain't going to be able to wrap around the things that's about to come abroad, man. You know, the, 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 like I said, this famine, cannibalism is going to be brought back in a major way. You're going to have civil wars, race war, class wars, food wars, you know. Uh, they're gonna they tell you that the love of men is gonna wax cold. You know, you're gonna be having neighborhoods, your neighbor kicking in your door, trying to eat. You know, if you ain't got no food, he just gonna eat you. You know, people gonna be reduced to eating their babies because that that famine, that famine gonna get everybody to move, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get something real quick. That famine, that's a hard, that's a harsh judgment, man. And that's throughout the scriptures. That word famine. You know. That's that's a harsh plague. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh has created wisdom. That's a, that's a spirit of vengeance. That's one of the spirits that's created for vengeance. Is the famine. So you don't think the famine will have a big part of this man? You know. So this is a. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Deuteronomy 8 and verse 3. It said. And he humbled thee. And suffer thee to hunger, see? So, being hungry, that's how you're going to get humble. You know? That's how you humble somebody, man. When they hungry, man. And that's what the Lord is going to do to these people. Because the, oh, that's why I said it's the cities, those cities are going to be uh, in great misery. Because they walked in great pride. So, what's one of the things that's going to, you know, um, pretty much um, take that pride away? When you niggas are hungry, man. You know, so it said, he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might know thee, it's like that he might make thee know that the man doth not live by bread alone only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live, see? You know? And that's once again going to happen again. In Egypt, man. You know? But he did it to uh, pretty much, your, that's how your deeds going to be um, discovered, you know? 
but that famine is going to have a big part in his uh in Jacob's trouble, the hour of affliction, when all hell break loose, man. You know, so it says, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And don't you see, the people are being stirred up. You know, everything is being stirred up now, because this place is being taken out of the way. You know, when you uproot some, that's a that's a, you know, you got to rock back and forth with it. You know, and that's what you see now. We seeing the last moments of this devil, man. Which is gonna go out. It's gonna be an epic end, an epic fall. You know, which ultimately the icing on the cake is the missiles, man. It says men's heart failing them from fear, and for looking after those things which are coming upon on the earth. See, so these people are gonna have heart attacks. You know they're gonna, you know, pretty much uh, give up the spirit. When they see certain things come upon the earth. Oh, the newly created beast, matter of fact. I think it say that you... It actually say you give up the spirit when you see him. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me, I can... It might be something... Seventeen, allow bell with me. Cause it say your heart gonna fail you, man. A lot of these people are gonna gonna have heart attack. They're gonna just give up the spirit, man. When these things come to come to pass, which we in the beginning stages of that. It's not like you know you can get around this. You know. Bell with me, I can. Yep, this is it right here. This is um Wisdom of Solomon 17. And uh I started just 15. I get to the point verse 15. It said we're partly vexed with monstrous apparitions. See? See you think paranormal activity is just a movie. Or these different, you know, uh scary moves like that. These things actually gonna come to play, man. This is actually gonna come upon the earth. That's why I said they're gonna it's gonna their heart gonna fail them from the things that's coming upon the earth, man. You know, because these people being on the banner of Esau, the so-called white man, if you can't plug it up in the wall, you ain't got no batteries in it, or they're on Bluetooth, you know, anything outside of that, you know, you can't really wrap your head around it. Which we coming into the beginning of things. This is just the end of this. But we're really coming into the beginning of life. And this is how you have about Shema was shy. It's revealing himself. It's a process of the Lord revealing himself. Start about the way of his word. You know. Then when all hell break loose, we get delivered out of certain situations by the way of divine intervention. To ultimately, the Lord actually appear, man. You know. But this is this part of the Lord revealing himself. You know. Matter of fact. Before I go back, let's get this real quick. Just because I said that. This is, um. Please ask us, Sirach 36 and 2. It says, And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations. And let them see thy power. See? So this is how the Lord is going to show his power. By the way of the judgments that's about to put forth, bring forth from the planet earth. You're going to know as your how by a mouth shot in. You're going to know as our power. You know, when that famine come, when the pestilence, cannibalism, the newly created beast, the the going back the monstrous apparitions, you know, that's when reality gonna set in. That's how you're gonna know that what you thought was was wrong. That life he was living was off, which ultimately gonna lead to death. You know, you follow this man and his sister, you know, and you ain't even gotta be a patriot. You know, to follow the so-called white man. If you need America to still be here to accomplish any goal, that that destruction is going to go towards you. That's why I said, warn to them that dwell in the world, that hang your hat in this place. You know? So the William Solomon 17 and 15, it says, Well, partly vest with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted, 
their heart failing them for sudden fear and not and not look for came upon them. See, these ain't the things that you look for. You know? And that's why these people gonna fall apart when they see a Pokemon. You know, those new created tell you that they shoot harbor sparks out of their eyes. Or they got that strong stench. When you smell that smell, you know that thing ain't coming back around to eat again. You know? See, that's when reality gonna set in. But it's it's gonna suddenly come upon you. Was we in that time? We in that time of um, wrath, you know, because back then the time of Noah was a time of wrath, and it suddenly came upon the people. Even though Noah warned them, it tell you they knew not until the flood came, and that's what's going to happen upon these people, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna end it off on this. Ecclesiastes chapter nine. In verse 12, it said, For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. See? So, because the fish, they go by their day, they ain't looking over their shoulders. They going by their day. You know? And that's what these people do. They go by their day. They throw the mask on. That's the only addition to their life. They just put the mask on, but they think everything is okay. You know? Said the birds caught in the snare. Like I said, the bird the birds go by their day, they ain't looking over their shoulder. They ain't expecting to be caught. They ain't expecting to be taken. But they is though. Cause you how about smell size the one that's hunting? He's hunting the people, man. You know, it says, So are the sons of men snared in an evil time. See, they're snared in the evil time. They, these people don't know what's going on. As long as you can watch LeBron James and get and go to Buffalo Wild Wings, get some chicken wings, you okay. Not knowing the Lord set that up just so you can think about a chicken wing when that when that famine come. You know, you going you when when you when these people get cast out of their houses and they get thrown to these concentration camps. You know, it's gonna it's gonna play it's gonna uh, play play on your mind, man. You know, that's why these people gonna fall apart. Because they weren't preparing, they weren't anticipating these things. You know, they just thought that this, this was gonna be a perpetual state. Not knowing this is an evil time. This is what the Lord's gonna show forth his wrath. It says, So are the sons of men snaring the evil time when it follows suddenly upon them. See, that's when reality gonna set in. When all hell break loose, when when the water break, when these troops come, when the tip get mandated. Oh, that's when these, these different Israelites, you know, the ones that's going to repent. That's when they're going to wake up. You know, out of these different counts, there's going to be something that's going to be proud. You know, but when that tip come, you know, that's going to make you move right now. You know, so to speak, in, in so many words. You know, but we in that evil time. We in that time where reality is about to set in upon these people, you know. That's when you about to wake up on the table. You were sleeping the whole time under this anesthesia. And you're going to wake up on the table. That's the worst feeling ever, man. You know? But the point is, reality is about to set in pretty soon. Any day now, the money can crash. Any day now, martial law can be uh, established. You know? But we here. So, yeah, I might just hold it with edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honey, and glory to you. How old, boss? I'm out shy. Boss, I'm Rokako the honor to the boss elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say something wrong to the elect that's easy word in our true favor of sincerity. BTA of Bible Bob.